Samson Dauda looked better at the Prague Pro than at the Olympia when he finished third behind Harry Chupan. So let's see if this version of the current Arnold Classic champion is better against Hadi at the O, meaning his favorite to win this year's Arnold against the Persian Wolf. These are the last stage appearances for both. From double biceps, we're going to analyze all the 8 mandatories in an analytical comparison which means a decisive win in a pose gets you 3 points, a standard win is 2 points and a subtle win is only 1 point. This way, whoever wins more points wins the comparison prioritizing quality over quantity. Let's actually kick off the comparison with the abs and thighs pose, the pose where Hari clearly beat Samson, at least in my eyes. Focusing on the focal points of the pose, we've got Hadi's rock hard defined abs against Samson's anesthetic washed out midsection. Moreover, even though Samson has world class ties, he doesn't showcase that here. So, all in all, this becomes a 3 point win for Hadi. Back to the front double biceps, Samson is taller and bigger overall, but pound for pound, Hadi is more muscular carrying more muscle on his smaller frame. This becomes more obvious in the torso region as Samson has some pretty impressive limbs. As for the focal points of this pose, Samson has the advantage with slightly better guns and a more pleasing overall flow. Let's discuss conditioning now, Hadi is second to none in this aspect today, at least from the front, and Samson has never been close to bringing this level of polish. However, at the Prague Pro, Samson brought better conditioning than at the Olympia. So overall the pose could go either way, but personally I prefer Samson, so he gets a 1 point subtle win. Front lat spread. Let's check their overall flow this way. If they were the same size, it would be more difficult to establish a winner. Indeed, Hadi would look more muscular, but given their actual size and stature, Samson seems pretty dominant. It's an Arnold vs. Franco type of thing. Looking at the actual pose, my eyes keep getting drawn to Samson. Now, Hadi is known for having a powerful front lat spread, but I feel like this pose has deteriorated over the years for him. He's not on the same level as in 2019, for example. Based on these pictures, I have to go with Samson again giving him another 1 point subtle win. Next, I want to examine the only remaining front pose, the most muscular, where we have a rather confusing scenario. On one side, we have Samson with rounder and fuller shoulders and arms, which are essential in this pose, but on the other side, we have Hadi with the best chest midsection combination I have ever seen in this pose. The details, the striations, and the hardness are very hard to ignore. They both showcase great legs, so this is not a factor we have to decide based on the upper body. Luckily, we also have the crab variation of the pose where Samson becomes more dominant. Since the midsection is out of the way, Hadi loses an important argument for him in this pose. Combined with his flat shoulders, it really hurts his case. So because in the hands clasped variation Hadi has a strong case to win, I'm making this only a subtle 1 point win for Samson overall for the most muscular pose. So from the front, Samson won 3 poses to 1 against Hadi, looking as the favorite tier now but on points they are equal. This is the power of the points system. Let's continue. From the back, Hadi is the favorite at least on paper. Back double biceps first. Based on this shot, I can't make a decision, so let's zoom back a little. It's clear that Samson is not that far behind as people would claim, but indeed, Hadi has the upper hand here. He packs more meat on his back and he also has the more defined glutes. Samson has competitive hams and the superior calves plus the superior guns. This is almost only a 1 point loss for him because of these, but I actually think this is a 2 point in the end. Hadi wins this pose pretty clear. Back lat spread. With the arms out of the equation and a superior showing from Hadi in this other back pose, this is pretty clear a Hadi win. In my mind, he even beats Derek in this pose. 
But anyway, this is not such a bad pose for Samson to be a 3 point, so it's a standard 2 point win for Hari, but more obvious than the other back pose indeed. The score is 3 3 on poses, but Hari has turned this around on points, being much more dominant than Samson in his wins. Samson needs to dominate the remaining side poses to prove he's the favorite going into the Arnold. Side chest pose. Until we get to the actual chests, which by the way are probably the best two in the world right now, let's examine the rest of the details in the pose. Downstairs, Hadi has better cuts in the quad and better glute ham muscle separation. Calves go to Samson, but we know they don't count as much. Arms and shoulders should go to Samson, he's rounder and fuller, but I would like to see better muscle separation in the area. And of course, Samson is bigger overall, this becomes again an Arnold vs Franco like comparison. As for the chests, they are clearly the top two in the world in this department, but I also think it's clear Samson is number one. Speaking of Arnold, that's a chest that even the Oak would be proud of. So overall, I, I see Samson as the winner, but only by one point, as Hadi looks really good himself and has the superior lower body here. So Samson leads in poses but is pretty far behind on points, meaning Hadi is the more well-rounded bodybuilder in this comparison. The last pose is the side triceps and Samson's only chance is to get 3 points to win the comparison. And let's be honest, Samson is not even winning this pose, let alone dominating. Hadi has the more defined triceps, the better torso and midsection and the better side leg. This is almost a 3 point win for Hadi. Just because Samson's triceps are at least pretty thick if not well defined and his overall stance is quite exceptional, this becomes only a standard 2 point loss for him. So we have 4 4 on poses but 4 to 9 on points. Having Samson winning just as many poses as Hardy against each other makes a lot of people believe he can beat the Persian world. However, our point system clearly show why Samson was far from cracking the top 2 at the Olympia yet and in my opinion why he is not the favorite to win the Arnold Classic 2024 against Hadi Chupan.